Welcome back to The Kenny Show. If you've been watching any of our previous videos for this computer build, then you'll know that we've got a problem. We picked this APU, the AMD A10-5800K, because we are going to be building a low-cost build. So that's why we bought this compatible Gigabyte F2 A68HM-DS2H motherboard. Why do they have to make these model numbers so hard to say? Next we got this Cooler Master N200 case that was part of a combo deal. Oh yeah baby, save the money! Cha-ching! What we didn't know is that right here is USB 3.0 on the front panel and right here is USB 3.0 cable. When we bought the, this motherboard we checked for USB 3.0 and it says it's right here. See? But there's nowhere to plug in this cable on the motherboard because there's no header for the USB 3.0. So that's why we bought this Cyber 2 port Super Speed USB 3.0 PCI Express card. And the most important part, with one USB 3.0 19 pin and turtle header. Our box came pretty smashed up, but as long as the parts work, who cares? Let's see what's in the box. So we got our USB 3.0 card. We got a Molex to SATA power cord, a low profile bracket, a user's manual, and a driver's disc. Remove this screw for the bracket for the slot that you're gonna put it into. Make sure to keep the screw because you're gonna be reusing it. You have to pull the bracket off, then install your USB 3.0 card. If that was any easier, it would have installed itself. Put the screw back in that you took out earlier. Now we're going to install this SATA to Molex power connector. And then, like... This. Next, install your USB 3.0 front panel connector onto the USB 3.0 card. It only goes on one way. This is our Wi-Fi adapter. I'm gonna plug this in and this is gonna get us under our home network. We're gonna turn this on and hopefully it'll find the drivers automatically. We weren't sure if the drivers installed automatically or not, but we don't wanna use this disc because it'll just put old drivers on the computer. So we got this USB 3.0 external hard drive and plugged it in right here. And it showed up right here, ready to use. So we don't have to do a doggone thing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave comments down below. And click here to see the previous video. And click here to see the external hard drive video.